So today is day one. Me and my husband decided to do a 72 hour watermelon flush, not a diet, but a watermelon flush. Um, you all know if you watch my video or follow me, I have done this before for two weeks, which I'll put that video up in the cards. But I've done this for two weeks and lost a great amount of weight. And that was like my kickstart to my new journey that I'm on right now or my new lifestyle that I'm on right now. Um, but I did want to do this 72 hour water flush, I'm sorry, watermelon flush with my husband. Um, so I just wanted to document it and show you all. Last time I didn't document each day, but I did tell you all what all happened. Um, yeah, I'm looking a little rough right now, but it's the morning. I just got up. Okay. But anyway, I'm about to weigh in so you all can see what my starting weight is just for these 72 hours and see what it's looking like. So, my starting weight, 174.6. Okay, so I have cut some of my watermelon. I haven't finished cutting it. I cut half of it, to be honest. And I'm going to eat on most of this. It's now about 12.30, so this will be my first meal of the day. I'm going to go ahead and start eating on this. It's day one, and I'm just showing you all. I will be eating this throughout the day. I do not have a time where I will be stopping maybe around six seven eight o'clock not sure i'm just gonna eat watermelon when i'm hungry so there you go so the 72 hours has begun so earlier as you seen me cutting the fruit and i was just eating some out of the uh bowl i haven't been able to sit down and do anything yet to even eat more of it or put it in a bowl like i usually do so this is actually like my first bowl but like i said i did eat some of it already but I'm, I just put some in a bowl. I'm about to eat this up. And then I'll probably eat again because it's already like 2.40. I'll probably eat again. I don't know. Whenever I get hungry. That's the thing I like about it. I'm going to eat when I get hungry. And I may not get hungry again to 4 or 5 o'clock. So we'll just see. This is about my fourth bowl, if I'm not mistaken. Probably four. Fourth bowl? It is... Uh, probably about 10 30. I'm whispering because I'm in the closet and it is bedtime but I didn't mean to eat this late but this is my last bowl so that means I have eaten all of my watermelon for today day one let's go see y'all tomorrow good morning this is day two of the 72 hour watermelon flush me and my husband are still doing it um He's not really documenting himself doing it, so it's just me, but we are doing it together. As you see, I just showed you how much I am weighing in this morning, so that is a pound down. I'm actually 29 pounds down now since I started um, June 5th, so I'm almost at 30, y'all. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. This happening, yeah, almost 30 pounds, so when i'm done with this flush it's of course it's gonna be th over 30 pounds at least 31 hopefully but yeah day two it is 8 44 and i am headed to take my daughter to the doctor's office um, for some congestion that she's having but um everything's gonna be okay day two here we go just finished cutting up my watermelon this will be bowl one for today it is now 12:25. so this will be my first meal of, the, meal of the day first watermelon bowl of the day let's go on my second bowl a watermelon mm. so good y'all i'm feeling good i'm feeling good i can't say last night i did have um a little head before i went to bed but other than that, I'm always feeling good when I eat water, when I'm eating watermelon, you know. Mm -hmm. Let me go out of season. I don't know what I'm going to do. No, I'm just going to continue eating fruit. But I just wanted to do this watermelon flush because I got to go get to. I do. And tomorrow, I get on the scale. I'm going to tell you all how much I lost. Total since starting this journey but i'm not finished yet 
yes the second bowl feeling good lots of energy i'm gonna keep this thing going this is my i think third bowl i'm like super duper hungry so about to eat this it's raining outside and i probably and i probably have about two more bowls tonight and i'll be done to tomorrow i almost forgot to record but this is my last bowl for tonight and that's going to end day two of the three day watermelon flush let's go day three this is my first bowl of the day last day of this watermelon flush it's not the last day i'm gonna eat watermelon but of the watermelon flush just watermelon last day and i'm gonna show y'all a clip of what i weigh in this morning this is what i weighed in this morning so tomorrow morning i will give the full three day weight loss for this challenge for this watermelon flush and also let you guys know how i feel overall throughout the whole three days so day three first bowl let's go this is like i think maybe my third or fourth bowl i forgot i didn't keep track but this is my third or fourth bowl for today and i got a little left that i'm gonna eat probably about nine i don't want to eat it too late because i don't want to be up in the bathroom so much tonight but yeah almost done and day three is gonna be a wrap y'all i almost forgot <laughs> I have eaten another bowl, I think, earlier. But this is my last bowl. This is going to be it for tonight. Let's see if I can say it. This is going to be it for tonight. It's going to be it for the three-day watermelon blush. And, yeah. That's going to be it for it. But after I eat this, um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop eating watermelon because that's my favorite fruit up until the season is out i'm still gonna be eating watermelon but i will be incorporating other fruits i will be incorporating other foods because other foods meaning um like my i love my black beans and rice and like some veggies mostly when i'm eating veggies and rice that's what i've been eating and it's been working so yeah and i don't eat any meat dairy anything like that right now i'm not saying that i I'm not going to ever eat it again, but I'm just not eating it right now. But, um, and processed sugar. So, yeah. Anyway, this is the, this is the wrap right here of this watermelon. And tomorrow, we get the final weigh-in of this flush. And I'll let you guys know how I'm feeling. Or what I felt about the whole three-day flush. Yeah. See you tomorrow. So, y'all. I have ended the three day water flush and I'm going to show you all what I am weighing in at right now since day one. I'm weighing. So that is where I am right now. I lost a total of a 3.4 pounds or something like that um, over those three days which is still pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's because like I've lost so much and it's kind of like starting to slow down, I'm not sure. But I still have some ways to go. I still have some ways to go to lose weight onto my goal. But I am 171. I am officially down 31 pounds since I started in June, June 5th. But anyway, I want to explain how I have been feeling during the whole three days the whole three days i've been feeling good um i had got to a point when i had wanted me some egg rolls yesterday um i love egg rolls y'all i get the vegan wrap kind but i learned that egg rolls don't actually have eggs in i'm not sure but the ones i get you know don't um but other than that like i've had a headache the first night but even after that, it still was good. 
you know, I felt good. I, I got sleep. I slept through the night. Um, so overall, my whole experience with the 72-hour fast was good. All I can say is, if anyone would like to try that, please consult your doctor first if you choose to. Consult your doctor or make a wise decision upon yourself. I'm not telling no one to do it because I'm not a physician or a doctor or nurse, anything like that, and I don't choose to be. So I say seek medical advice first if you choose to, um, especially if you have anything going on, a diabetic, anything like that, and you want to get more information or anything, please seek your own advice, your own uh, medical help. But for me, um, I chose to do it and it has been, it's been great for me. So yeah, that's going to be it, you guys. That's it. I did a 72 day challenge. My husband did it as well, like I said, but his wasn't documented and he lost, and he lost 12 pounds, 12 pounds over the three days. Can you believe it? 12 pounds. Yes, he did. He did. And we do plan to keep eating fruit like we've been doing and 